All right. Hey, we are streaming. Streaming. Marunong pa rin akong mag-stream kahit pa paano. Is amazeballs. Wait, nasan ayo? Chat should work. Eh, hey, Kuya Norms. Bakit hindi lumalabas yung chat ko? Fake news? Fake news. Hey, we are streaming. Hinanap ko pa yung ano ko. <laughs> Hinanap ko pa yung webcam. This webcam right here. Look at that. What is that? Ang ganda ng shutter speed na set ko dito ah. What is that? Look at it. Ah! After image. Um, hang on. We, do, we need to turn on our lights. Pero ayaw kong kausapin si Google. So, dito ko na lang gagawin. There we go. Oh, so bright. <laughs> so bright. Look at it. Look at my... Yeah, this camera is... Pagka tama yung settings ng camera, no? It it looks good. Tama ba? Can, is it malinaw? Is it malinaw, Yaya? Uh, the, yun yung imagination ko pagka, ano, pagka mayaman yung tao. Lagi siyang nagtatanong sa <laughs> Yaya. <laughs> malinaw ba, Yaya? <laughs> Oh man, I'm so bright. Lawrence on Sun One, what's up? Um, Malina ba yaya? Yaya. Yaya, tama na cellphone. Panoorin ko yung sarili kong stream. Man, I'm buffering. Yung stream ko is buffering on its own. Why? Wait, naka ano ba tayo? Um, let's see, stream options. Normal latency. We are normal latency. Ano lang talaga, hirap lang talaga siya. Oh well. Lucky Pooh, what's up? White Blue! Koya Ray Kyle. Magical. <laughs> Gusto ko yung ating ano. Ma masyado nga lang akong bright. Tsaka meron tayong bright spot dito sa green screen ko. You know, bright spot. Hindi ko natakpan eh. Tinatakpan ko yan usually eh. <laughs> ano yan? Um, salamin. Dresser yan na salamin. So, yung ilaw ko nakaturo pababa dito. Kaya nare-reflect niya yung salamin. Yung ano ng salamin. Welcome to the big time show. It is uh, Saturday, March the 3rd. Yeah, I'm close to my email. March 3, welcome to the show. Big Time Show is about technology in the Philippines. Inspected, attack, tech inspected na, yes. Ngayon mo lang napansin. We are now tech inspected. <laughs> Hopefully, gusto nyo yung pangalan. <laughs> I hope you like the name. Uh, because we are going to, ano, uh, Baka yung, so, uh, yung BTS I might change also, uh, pero hindi ko pa alam. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, we're, we're going to rebrand ng konti, Tech Inspected. And then yung ating channels are Tech Inspected and Tech Inspected Extras. I hope you like the new name. Um, wala lang, I, uh, na-explain ko na ng konti, it's a 
mas madali lang sabihin sa pangal yung pangalan tech inspected so it's easier to uh, you know to tell people about your website and then put it in a uh, put it in a new uh, ano, business card stuff like that by the way uh, mamaya ko pa sana i-announce but uh, since nandito na kayo uh, si Kuya Ray Kyle is uh, on hindi na honorary but uh, he's uh, uh, we're we put Ray, Kuya Ray Kyle, Kuya White Blue as a social media manager sa ating uh, Facebook page. So let me turn on our Facebook page right here. And yep, there we go. Haha, <laughs> I, I need to re I need to change the resolution. <laughs> also, we're streaming at 1080p 60. Ah, huh? ano tayo eh? Uh, um, uh, maasenso na eh Maasenso Natatandaan nyo pa ba yung panahon na <laughs> Bumabagsa Binababa natin to 200 Mbps Yung stream natin <laughs> Oh my god uh, 1080p Nasaan ka? 1080p well, uh, My eyesight is dead 1920 by 1080 Keep display settings Hindi ko alam kung okay kung kung okay yung announcement kung kung pa, pa, payag si Kuya Rekal sa aking announcement but uh, kinuha natin siya as social media manager. So para po sa lahat ng hindi pa medyo spam yung post ko kaya hindi naman. <laughs> I, I think ano nga eh. I mean personally, wala akong problema kung ganoon karami. Um Ikaw na lang. Ikaw yung, ang tanong ko, ikaw hindi ka ba napapagod? Ang dami mong pinopost. I mean, ikaw, kung gusto mo, kung dami mo pa, ikaw bahala. <laughs> um, so, follow nyo po. Lahat na nanonood. I know, may, medyo maaga pa lang at ano pa, hindi pa masyadong ano, peak time ng ating show. But, uh, follow nyo po si Kuya White uh, Bleu. White Blue spelled as B-L-E-U. Yan. B-L-E-U. Yan po si Kuya, ano, si Kuya Ray Kyle, no? Ah. Uh, yung si Dmax malakas mag-post ng news. <laughs> hindi ko kaya, hindi ko pwedeng kunin si Kuya Dmax masyadong biased eh. <laughs> si Sira yung pangalan natin sa sa pagiging biased ni Kuya. Um, by the way, alam nyo, akala nyo siguro baka baka magulat kayo meron tayong mga bagong mga mga mahiwagang graphics. Hindi po ay ah, mali. Ah, uh, hindi po hindi po ako yung gumagawa ng graphics, no? Kasi oh my god, nakakaano to? What the hell? Ay, ayoko nito, spam ng mozzarella. Yikes. Ayoko ng spam, no? Iba yung lasa, maalat yung spam, eh. Ayoko ng spam ng pizza. Um Na try mo na Gcam sa S10 Plus mo? Actually, hindi pa. Is it that important to try Gcam? Mahanap ko ba ang ano ang G spot pag iniso ko yung G? <laughs> pag kumuha ako ng picture lilito ba yung G spot? Ah, ano ba to? APK ko ba to? Move Google Camera Photos. APK ko ba to? Wala siya, walang ano no, walang Gcam sa regular ano no. Gcam Premium. What the heck? This way watch watch the world. Oh, that's not it. Paano ba mag-Gcam dito? <laughs> I don't use Gcam. I just use the normal stock camera app kasi kay ano eh. Kay S10 Plus eh. Uh, malinis na yung graphics. <laughs> Thank you. Dito sa ano sa community, babaguhin ko rin ito. Uh, naluluma na itong ano eh. Hindi na ano eh. So, binago ni Facebook yung Facebook cover pic uh, size. Nasira na itong lumang community page. Saka babagawin natin ng konti. Uh, pero hindi po ako yung... <laughs> Argel, what's up? Um, hindi ko naman sinasuggest sa inyo kasi may bayad ito. Pero ginagamit ko is placeit.net. Uh, so, I'm a, I'm a noob. Dali, isisensor natin yan sandali, no? Kasi maglalagin ako eh. Okay. So um hindi ko naman sinasabing gawin niyo. pero hindi ako yung mahiwagang designer niya. No? Uh, nag nagpipindot-pindot lang ako dito. <laughs> so, 
stock cam. Yeah, stock cam. I like the stock cam. Malinaw talaga. Gusto ko yung stock cam. I think the the processing is very good. Uh, gawa tayo ng logo ng... Hindi, ayaw kong logo. Let's do design. Um, hindi, t-shirt ito eh. Ano ba ito? YouTube templates, YouTube profile picture. Gawa tayo Twitch template. Um, okay, Twitch design. Ah, uh, offline lang. Ayaw ko niyan. Phone case, podcast covers, album covers, YouTube template. Um, dito ko lang kinukuha yung mga ano natin. Baka ma- yung, yung BTS community, babaguhin ko yun. Uh, malamang dito ko kukunin yung design niya. Mag- mag-i-invento lang tayo. Actually, gusto niya gumawa tayo ngayon. Hanap tayong random. Um, hindi ano eh. Facebook cover ang hinahanap ko. Ano yung Facebook cover? Designs. No, wala dito. Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, photo, Twitter headers. No, nasa na yun? Eh. Cover. Um, so, welcome to the show. Ang ating pag-uusapan today is... Um, ano ba? <laughs> ano na ba yung nilagay ko sa topics natin? Tumatanda na ako, nagiging boomer na ako. Magiging kalaban na ako sa Left 4 Dead. Uh, Oppo X2, Realme 6, Realme C3, and then tama si Kuya Ray Kyle na uh, dinagdagan niya ng uh, Black Shark 3, Realme X3 Pro, X50 Pro, and uh, Huawei. Hindi ko na, huwag na natin masyado pag-usapan yung Huawei. Natuwat na ako dun. Nang, nasaan yung mouse ko? Yun ang problema pagka nagpalit ka ng resolution. Yung ano yung, yung setup mo ng display. Okay. Dito siya. Doink. Doink. Okay. Um, so, welcome to the show. Uh, ating uh, topics is, yun na nga yung sinabi ko. <laughs> And, um, nasa na yung you, the face, Facebook chat? Ayun, okay. Niyaw niyo, nag-aantay ako ng YouTube link wala sa main channel. Wala, wala naman talaga sa main, hindi, tayo nag, hindi na tayo nag-upload sa main channel natin. Uh, hindi ako na, hindi nag-upload. Wala, walang BTS sa main channel. Uh, at niyaw niyaw, the link is... Uh, sa ko nilipay. Um, because the Facebook, uh, the YouTube algorithm kills my channel every time nag-BTS tayo. The Facebook algorithm goes like, Oh my God, this guy is going live stream and uh, Philippine only watching. We have to kill his channel right now. So, namamatay yung aking main channel. Uh, so, ngayon nasa secondary channel tayo. And actually, ano rin siya, toxic din siya sa second channel ko. Uh, so, nag-iisip din ako kung anong gagawin ko, kung saan ko ilalagay itong BTS. Um, baka i-separate ko entirely yung channel. Um, parang sa, uh, napansin nyo naman sa ibang... Even yung mga malala, mga big time na uh, tech uh, YouTubers, may podcast sila pero hindi sa main channel yung pumapasok yung podcast. Nasisira yung algorithm. Nakakasira ng algorithm. Yun ang ayaw ko lang sa YouTube yung algorithm. Eh. Um, Argel, good evening. Okay na yan. Uh, what's up kuya Alex? What's up kuya Rainer? Ilang megapixel boss pag na, nagkuha ka ng still photos while filming 4K? Well, 4K is... Ano, is um, 8 megapixels, no? Uh, so, that's literally... You, all you got to do to, to calculate that is to multiply the the length and width, no? And then divide by 1024. But, uh, mas maganda is just million mo na lang, no? So, that's... Uh, oh my God, my calculator is for big boys. Okay. So, ang um, 4K video is... Teka nga, I need... I, I, I want to turn off my lights muna. Sayang kuryente. No, I'm just kidding. I want I want it to be darker. <laughs> okay, so um 3840 ang sa 4K video, no. 3840 yung width times 2160 yung vo- vertical, no. So ultimately ang magiging ano mo diyan is 8.294.4 um million uh, 8 million pixels, which is basically 8 megapixel or uh, divide natin siya sa 1024. 8,000, 8.1 megapixels. 
ish. I don't know kung tama yung calculation ko. But essentially, it's an 8 megapixel photo. No? Um, ang 1080p, here's 1080p. Na, na explain ko na to dati. 1920 times 1080, no? Is 2 megapixels. <laughs> and uh, it makes sense because 4K is 4 times the resolution ng 1080p. So times 4 natin to. That's the same number as before. That's 8 megapixel. 8 to 9.4.4. So when you take a screenshot of 4K video, you get an 8 megapixel image. Um, ask lang sir, any suggestion on the Redmi for the price on Redmi for the price of 5 to 6K? I might buy a new phone with my first payday in my new job. Hey, congrats sa bagong trabaho, Koy Rainer. Um, let's see. Redmi 5 6K. Um I would I would suggest Redmi Note 7 siguro. Makano ba ngayon ang Redmi Note 7? Um, maybe Redmi Note 8 kung kasya sa pera. Ah, hindi abot. So, 5 to 6K. Dude, wa well, ayam ng ano ng uh, Realme C3. Pasok yung Realme C3, bagong bago. Um, personally I would Hmm. Mas gusto ko yung Redmi. Kaya lang Redmi mas mahal nga eh. Um, Redmi Note 7 talaga yung... Impressed ako sa Redmi Note 7 kasi. Um, hindi nga lang abot sa, sa pera. Oh, ito. 7K? seven k Global version. Snapdragon 660. Ano ba yung processor ng ulit ng ano? Red ng se, se, Redmi Note 7? Uh, Re, Realme C3 na lang. <laughs> um, anong ano ba? Anong purpose mo? Gaming or not? Kasi kung, kung camera, I would go with the Redmi, no? Um, if it's gaming, I think mas may lamang ng konti si Realme. Um... It's it's too bad wala akong re, Redmi Note 7 to compare na no. Binili ko yung Redmi Note 7 ko eh. But I have a Redmi Note 8 na bubuksan ko pa lang, hindi pa nabubuksan. So um actually ang marami kong gagawin right uh, this these days is um ito si um Realme 5i and then si Realme C3 halos magkadikit lang yung presyo and then versus yung uh, Redmi Note 8 no um is slightly higher priced but uh, shut 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 up shut up Mr uh, uh, ano Google um impressed ako sa Redmi camera 7 and 8 no uh, daily driver lang naman um daily driver lang naman big battery 3 gig ram hmm I guess I guess you could do with the Realme C3. Uh, maybe we'll talk about the Realme C3 right now then, <laughs> if you guys want. So let's talk about the Realme C3. This is um, the newest phone from Realme, one of the budget ones. Um, tago natin si 5i. Hindi ko pa nagagawa ng content si 5i pero soon. Pag uh, pag naano na tayo. Pag nagkaroon ng oras. Sinatapos ko yung gaming. Tinatapos ko mo na yung review ng Realme C3. Kasi yun yung kailangan tapos Well, hindi naman kailangan tapusin But siya yung bago eh So inuuna ko siya para matapos na siya And then um, Babalik ako sa mga backlog ko Second cam There we go I need my lights Shoo. There we go Okay So Here's the Realme C3 Whoa. Such such camera angle ano? Tama ba? Nakafocus pa kaya tayo should I actually try and mangle the focus though? Uh, second cam. I need properties of second cam. And oh, by the way, in upgrade. Uh, so hindi ko in upgrade dito, but uh, nagde default kasi tong camera na to to 720p ngayon naka naka 1080 na siya, no? Um, configure video. Let's see if we can. No, naka auto focus siya. But uh, should we manual it? Oh my god. Somewhere around there. Ganyan na lang. Okay, save. 
Okay, so this is the Realme C3, uh, the new budget phone from Realme. And um, it's uh, powered by a very unique new processor, the real it's the real <laughs> the the MediaTek G70 you no know, MediaTek uh Helio G70 processor um now matagal na akong hindi sumusubaybay sa mga processors i just you know it's it's not been uh, uh, para sa akin Snapdragon 600 plus Snapdragon 700 plus yun yung paborito ko eh um but the G70 um so versus the Realme 5i actually Parang hindi naman sila masyadong... Okay, nali. I need to enter to, too many fingerprint mismatches. Um, so, here is the Realme 5i. Nasa, nasa kanan. Nasa kaliwa si Realme C3. So, these are basically like kambal, no? But the 5i is a Snapdragon something-something. I forget. <laughs> Napaka, Napaka-updated ko kasi. Um... So, ang main difference dito is mostly, mostly the UI. No? In terms of UI uh, speed or smoothness, honestly, I think si Realme C3 is just maybe maybe 10% smoother in terms of scrolling around. Pero kasi this is mostly UI difference lang. Uh, this is running on color OS pa. Ni galing pa kay Oppo ito eh. So, settings. About phone. Eh, color OS and then Android version 9 no and then this is ito nga si 5i has 4 gigs of RAM 64 of storage and ano yung processor nito I wish I can see eh uh, babalik ako na lang yan sobrang ano na ako boomer this, this is the boomer life boys boomer na boomer so Realme C3 uh, ito yung talagang tinesting ko uh, recently and the UI is definitely something, ano, something yung good sa sa kanilang smoothness department. Ah, uh, sa kung kailan siya, kung the problem ang nagiging ano niya lang is yung slight bit of ah, uh, di naman if tinodo mo yung multitasking mo sa ganyan, um, mararamdaman mo narin siya nag nagko konting yeah, yung, okay alaw, nagko konting slow down na, no? So <laughs> isa rin yun sa napansin kong parang mini problems niya. Uh, mamaya explain ko yung sinasabi ko. In terms of, yan, scrolling, 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 walang problema. No? Once marami ka nang nakaload na apps, minsan, nag ano, na siya, nag, uh, parang nagsuslow down na siya, naglo-load ng stuff. Um, but, as you can see right now, medyo hindi pa rin siya nahihirapan. Ayan, dito. Well, naglo-load ng bagong stuff ito. Eh. So, isa sa mga not top kaya niya is yung kanyang loading of new content. So, loading of new content is basically downloading from the internet. Mabilis naman yung internet ko, so wala hindi yun yung problema niya. So, uh, it's the slight processor speed issue. Uh, hindi naman issue, but dun, dun na siya nagkaka, ano? It's, it's not the smoothest you can ever have, no? Uh, but it's still very good, especially for most uh, UI uses, no? Um, once you start gaming, once you start multitasking, once you start ano, dun dun medyo nag nagbabagal bagal. Pero overall, for uh, for the price that you pay for this one, it's very good. Um, the ano ba? <laughs> I don't know how to start. I don't know how to do these hands on anymore. The back is a polycarbonate plastic back with a little sun sunny sunny disposition like this. Nagaling dun sa camera module sa likod. Uh, it's got a 5,000 mAh battery, which is really nice sa ganitong price point and sa ganitong, uh, uh, in terms of, uh, ano to? Budget smartphone build and, bud and, and manipis lang siya, no? Hindi siya super, super bigat or super laki because it is, well, also plastic, no? Fingerprint scanner works quite well. Um, yun lang, mahirap siyang kapain kasi mababa lang yung, same with the 5i, no? Ma ma ano lang siya, ma maliit lang yung indentation ng fingerprint. So, minsan lumalampas yung daliri mo. Um, it's not as pronounced as other fingerprint sensors. So, minsan lumalampas lang yung daliri mo. Um, gaming, I think, is very good. No, Gaming on the Realme C3 is, I think, very good. Um, is it better than the 5i? Maybe by a small bit. Maybe by a small bit. Um, which would I choose between the two? That's a very good question, though.
I think the Realme C3 is my choice. If only because of certain things, no. Um, so, gusto ko, eh, 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 there are a few things na meron akong gusto, may gusto ko. Gusto ko yung design ng, ng C3 versus the 5i. So, 5i is here. C3 is here. Uh, one thing I like about the C3 is yung sunburst design niya galing sa camera. So, it sort of like accentuates the camera, makes it cool and makes it um, you know, uh, uh, I mean, a conversation piece, but more like a, um, an accent, an accent piece. So, parang it accentuates or makes your attention go to the, to the camera module. I think the 5i was like an experiment in this uh, design language, no? But they did not know where to put the, the, the source of the sun color, uh, the sun, sh the sun like, kung ano yung pinanggagalingan ng ilaw. So they put it on the lower left corner next to the Realme uh, logo, which I mean, it sort of makes sense, but it's not coming from the Realme logo. It's coming from this corner right here. Um, so design-wise, mas gusto ko si Realme C3. Software-wise, di ha maklamas gusto ko si uh, software ni Realme C3. So the main difference here is one, uh, two things. Uh, Realme C3 has a Android 10. No, based on Android 10. Wait, that's an ba? Bukas ka naman. Face unlock. Yun. Bakit siya itim? <laughs> Yun. So, Realme C3 is based on Android 10. Realme 5i is based on Android 9. Uh, Realme C3 is based on the first version of Realme UI. This is the first custom version of Realme software. Uh, this is the first phone with the first uh, with Realme software. It's also the first phone with, Re with uh, MediaTek G70. This guy is running on Color OS with Android 9. The main difference between the two is the bloatware. I mean, kind well, okay. So let's 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 explain it a little bit. They both have bloatware. Mas konti yung bloatware na Realme C3. Maybe C C5 i has maybe five or six apps that I don't like, and then maybe four of them na uninstall ko. C Realme C3 is like two uh, three apps. Three apps, the lawa yung hindi ma install, yung isa na install ko, which is Opera Browser. Um, unfortunately, there is always the app market na hindi mo pwedeng install on both phones. Ano to? Solid na. This is solid na binabayaran si ano to? Binabayaran si Realme to put this app store on their phones, no? Kasi it's, it's, it's not default app, and they're, they're making a marketing sort of agreement. They're paying Realme to put this app there. Um, just like yung pagbumili ka ng Asus, pagkarami-raming bloatware, ng Norton Antivirus, ng whatever. Actually, maraming, maraming computer, maraming bloatware, no? Um, but mostly sa bloatware ng computer na uninstall mo. So, dito is one of the problems with smartphone manufacturers is they lock their apps, no? Um, anyways... Ang ayaw ko, so they both have bloatware. Mas marami ng konti bloatware ni Realme 5i. The main issue ko with the Realme 5i software is not just the bloatware, it's the ads. The 5i has a ton of ads. Every app you install, there's a, there's a web, there's a, there's an antivirus detector thingy that pops up. And uh, it's it will have that antivirus thingy has a as an ad. There is no way to turn that off. There's no way to turn off the antivirus. There's no way to turn off the ad. So Realme C3, voila, none of those things, no. So let me just show you uh, what I've seen here. Here we go. So there's an ad right there, no. Okay, hindi makikita kasi yung settings ko ng ng. So I I've been through this before. Anong naghanson tayo ng Realme 5i and I'm still not ayan ito yung Antutu score ng 5i and then the Antutu score ni Realme C3 is 180k so slightly higher but it's only different by a little bit here's the app market that I can't uninstall um there's an ad and then they have the smart assistant walang smart assistant si Realme C3 which I prefer personally uh, because smart assistants are just ad <laughs> they're just places to put ads no and it's not it's not for you it's for ads, okay? App market. Secure payment has been updated. Look at this. They, they keep telling you to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. So team, so team marketplace. It tells you, good things take time. Be patient. What? What? 
So uh, these, this is something I don't like sa mga ganitong budget smartphones and I'm sur I'm I'm very happy to report that the Realme C3 does not have any of these problems. Yun nga lang, we don't yet know we don't yet know kung kung talagyan pa rin nila ng ads ito eventually, no? So it's uh it's going to be like super question mark kasi this is the first version of Realme UI. The question is, are they going to... Since wala, baka since bago pa lang siya, hindi pa sila nagkaroon ng time to add the ads that it, they want to put into it. No? Question mark, question mark, question mark. But right now, currently, it's very... Uh, it's, ve it's, it's a very clean uh, ROM. No? Um, you still get like... Pag tinignan mo lang siya in certain places, it still says color... Ah, okay. Wala mo mayan na yung ko. Um, speakers are very good. Okay, so isa sa mga napansin ko yan, speakers are very good. Medyo tinny but loud, no? I like the speakers. I use it pagka nagsashower ako. Kanina nagsashower ako, kaya buso, ba, basahin buho ko. Uh, speakers are fairly loud. Yun nga lang, na madali siya matakpan if, uh, if madalas kang nagtatakip ng, ng speaker dito sa right side. 720p display, 1600 by 720p. Um, not the best display in the world, of course, no? Uh, the contrast level is not super high. No? So, yung... Like, when you're watching something, it just feels like yung difference between black and gray is so... Ano, yung, it's, it's not like, this should be darker, but no, it's like gray. No? So, contrast level, not so much. But, honestly, it's not a bad phone. It's not a bad phone. The ergonomics is really, really good. The UI is really, really good. The gaming performance, above, way above average. Um, camera performance, also above average. Uh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna blow your mind. So let's take some, let's take a look at some photos that I took with the Realme C3. And, yep, there we go. Mm, Prejo projects, Realme C3, first impressions. So, samples, okay. Um, so, magisa lang ako, so pagbisyan yun na yung mga aking selfie. So, here are his selfie. Nasa, nasa impressions video ko ito, if you're curious to find out about my impressions. Uh, selfies are kind of good. This is a 5 megapixel selfie uh, with the bokeh mode on. Wala siyang depth sensor but the bokeh mode seems to do all right in terms of selfies now this is a regular selfie 5 megapixel no bokeh uh, but it, you, as sabi ko dun sa impressions ko there's a lack of uh, dynamic range but that's typical of most uh, smartphones Yun nga lang, you can clearly tell this is the the yung nor, most phones there's a gradual fall off eh. there's a gradual fall off between like um the the bright areas and the dark areas but when your dynamic range is low there's a huge fall off between the bright areas and the dark areas and of course it's yeah it's a decent flattering decent image but you know it could be better there's more could be more colorful could be more green whatever anyway um i think for the price point this is decent no decent maybe above average but uh ang, ang para sa akin yung price point kasi ang kalaban mo dyan is if you just hit that 8 to 9k price point, there is very huge competition sa price point na to. So, let me see kung meron pa ako. Um, I don't think I should do this or I don't think I should... Kasi medyo unprepared tong content ko to compare it with. If I can even find it, baka nasa backup ko na eh. Um... Where are my projects? Wala na ata dito. It might be old video projects. Okay, let me see. Wala siguro. Um, no, I don't think it's here. Okay, anyway. Um, marami kang kalaban sa price point. Oh, well, wala kang kalaban sa price point na to or there are few enemies in this price point but at least the 6000 pesos it's and what's the mo dito is no other 6000 peso phone has got gaming as good as Realme C3 no um 
And here's the ito low light ito. This is low light selfie. Honestly, this dito lumilitaw na of course yung low low light performance is not as good especially sa selfies. Um but honestly, if you look at this, this is, you know, passable. Passable. Um and then this is the main uh, this is the 5 megapixel selfie na walang bokeh mode. This got blurred a little bit. Um, I would like to know kung ano yung shutter speed natin dito. This is 1 over 10 over 1 over 10 over second, 1 over 10 over second. It's 1 over 33, 1 over 33. Okay, anyway. Uh, main camera. So, main camera, decent, but there's always yung mga times na it's not gonna take a, uh, uh, it's gonna take slightly blurry shots. Uh, so, first things first, uh, red colors are very, very blown out. Typical of, uh, you know, these these uh, budget smartphone cameras. Yeah, blown out red colors, blown out red colors, blown out red colors. This is, this is not macro. This is blown out red colors then. This is macro. This is main cam. This is macro. Uh, macro, 2 megapixel camera. Actually, not bad, but it's 2 megapixels. Uh, I don't, it's so hard to use 2 megapixel macros, no? Um, especially want to share it online. Unless sobrang low, low, barang, if the people you share the photos with just view the photos in maybe, you know, mga 720p displays then, then it's okay. But uh, this falls off very, very quickly at 2 megapixel. Admittedly, it's a budget phone kasi, you know? Uh, main cam, main cam. So, ito, there are times where you will get some blurry shots because, well, it's not the best, no? It's not the best in terms of shutter speed. This is 1 over 100 already, no? That's crazy. 1 over 100, but still manages to slightly, you know. I mean, ha. this ito yung kanyang dynamic range. So you can see that it's got kind of low dynamic range, but eh, budget, budget, budget. You have to keep in mind. Uh, Come on, after sales in Realme, it's, it's gotten a lot better now. It's gotten a lot better. I have to admit. Uh, the year plus that they've been trying to uh, been growing in the Philippines, they've grown to like second in the Philippines ata or something. Uh, sobrang lakas ni Realme ngayon. Uh, they've got uh, tremendous growth and they've got after sales. Um, though wala akong personal experience sa after sales, no? Here, you can see dynamic range. They, they all have colors but the, the, the plants are a little too dark for this kind of photography. Um, ito, some Pokemon mode. This one is not bad, although hindi hindi attractive yung yung ano yung ano to hindi attractive yung ano ba to gumamela kasi na, na ano na siya nalalanta na siya so hindi ko pinost ito eh. This is macro hindi ko nakuha ng tama so blurred siya. Um, this is a motorcycle from Honda. Actually, I'm curious how dito eh. but this is a nice photo. Um, you can you can still see details sa mga dark areas. It's very like there's a lot of dark textures here na nakuha niya. So that's good. I like it. Um, very nice rendition of color. Very decently sharp. Not too bad. Very shareable. I would share this on Instagram. Diba? Uh, more more plants. That's a macro. This I'm trying to do an HDR shot. So I wanted to do the lens flares. Dito. Yan. So I got the lens flares. This one, it, it, this shows talaga yung dynamic range ng, fo ng camera. Still limited by a little bit because if you taken this with a with a with a with a more expensive smartphone, this area right here, yung mga area sa paligid dito, this would be bright parin. So that's the difference in dynamic range nung talaga. So they managed to slightly wrangle this back from super silhouette darkness, no? But ano lang siya, they they managed to only just bring it back just a little bit. Um, so it, I would this one I would still actually Instagram. This is not bad, no. Uh, this is maybe a little too dark. Dito still usable, usable. Um, if I could, uh, what I would do here is nasa na yun? And this one. Mm hmm. So, um, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Yeah, look at that. 
That's what most smartphones do, hindi ba? Yeah, there you go. That's a smartphone photo. That's how that's how a typical HDR photo from expensive smartphones would kind of look like, no? We can actually even sharpen it a little bit. Yeah, here we go. There's there's your typical upper upper end smartphone photo because they would have an extra dynamic range and extra whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. Um, this is a little bit too HDR, but of course, you know, it's a, it's an after effect. It's an effect of because the camera has slightly lower dynamic range than your typical ex, uh, expensive smartphone. Uh, makikita mo yung corner nito, medyo nag, nagkaka, parang, it's called so, sort of like yung HDR fringing or HDR halo effect ng HDR. But uh, yeah, that's that's how different you would see in terms of what what you would expect from a higher quality camera no uh, there's some more photos here that's my chinelas that's a dog um this me this me taking blurry photos this is a a main camera this main camera actually ginagawa ko dito is um ganun nakahawak nakahawak yung main camera sa mukha ko so I, hindi ta, hindi siya selfie no um, I'll try and demonstrate what I'm doing here. So, I use the volume button. So, nakaturo sa akin, di ba? Hindi ko alam na nakaturo sa akin, pero chinchempo ako lang. So, press the volume. Doon ako nagsiselfie. Um, how do I look? <laughs> oh, I look tired. <laughs> it's not bad, though. I look tired. I look angry and tired. Holy, okay. And then we can do portrait. So this is an example of portrait how I do it uh, lang no to, to testing lang wala lang ako kilala kasi So that's how I did this portrait this is about maybe 6 5:40 p.m. Uh so medyo it's a little blurry but it's not bad that's what what is this This is shot at 1 over 100 of a second pero eh, ano siya kasi may blur May ano kasi siya eh. May bokeh effect siya eh. Um, so, ito, nagkamali siya ng focus. Uh, obviously, very, very obvious nagkamali ng focus yung main cam. This one is about the, well, about you, what you would expect. This is 12 megapixel main cam, not a selfie. Uh, not the best, but you know. Ito rin, same. Um, needs more, needs brightness in the, the main area. Yung, yung ano, Yung slightly low dy lower dynamic range. But yeah, it's, it's serviceable, serviceable. Ito, hirap ma makuha na nitong gumamela na to. I tried a lot of times. Uh, because it was getting dark and also uh, mahumahangin. So the plants were moving. Um, and I found a grasshopper. So kung takot kayo sa mga insecto, stop watching. Stop watching now. <laughs> Tuwan-tuwa ako nung nakita ko to. I know he's eating my fortune plant, pero tuwan-tuwa pa rin ako. <laughs> golden hour, it was slightly after. Mga 30 minutes after golden hour na. Um, may budget line ba si Oppo or si Vivo? Meron. Uh, hindi ko lang masyadong updated. <laughs> Oppo, was it Oppo A7? Something? Um golden hour. So here's a here's a grasshopper. I think this was around uh, noon time though. Um It's not bad though. You get some blurrier shots pagka, you know. It's not perfect. Ito medyo blurry ito eh. Um and this is low light. Low light doggy. So that's Jeff. Um wala siyang night mode. So you can't do night mode. So, ito actually, meron, nakita nyo yung bubong. There's bubong there. Uh, sometimes I take this night mode shot up the wall. And kung maganda yung night mode mo, makikita mo pa yung sky ng konti. But here, hindi, naman siya, hindi mo naman siya makita. This is Sili. Sili. This uh, main camera selfie. Uh, main camera, not selfie. Main camera, uh, taking a photo of myself. No bokeh mode. Okay. This is low light. And then, this is bokeh mode. Um, ang problema sa bokeh mo, tinamaan niya yung aking, hindi niya na bokeh yung, uh, upuan ko. 
So hindi niya na boke. Akala niya kasama ng tenga ko yung yung, <laughs> yung upuan. Um, and then na, na, naiwan ko naka-on yung beautification na, na, at level 2 ata to. So I would give it like a What's uh my grade with it would be like B minus C plus. Uh in the in, in sa ano sa buong smartphone industry, a B minus or C plus. In terms of budget camera, in terms of budget smartphone camera, I would give it um B plus. B plus, no? Uh yung grade niya. Um good micro. Um hindi ako updated sa ano eh, sa Oppo Vivo eh. So yun ang problema natin. <laughs> I can't answer that. Um, personally, I would really try to go for a Redmi Note 7 or 8. Personally lang. Um, kasi, para sa akin, yung 1080p display is a big thing for me. Um, let's see, tignan natin to. Um, okay, okay. So, isa sa mga sa... Eh, eh, wait lang, wait lang. Um, ba- bago tayo pumunta doon. So, hindi, hindi naman sa bashing ako ng Realme. Realme is still a very good product. No? And this one, you know, Redmi is, you wouldn't say it's the best in gaming and whatnot. But in terms of camera performance, medyo, uh, I've, I've tried the Redmi. Asa na ba yung video ko about the... Um, I had a photo. Yeah, here we go. So... Some relatively impressed sa Redmi Note 7 dito eh. Uh, where are the camera comparisons here? This is versus the S10 Plus. Um, so Redmi Note 7 sa kaliwa, S10 Plus sa kanan. This was before S10 Plus had the the night mode setting. Where's my camera? Where's my shutter button? Sorry, it's so dark. I can't even see my own. Yeah, so actually, pretty good. Anyway, um, don't worry. We will be comparing the the Realme C3 soon. Ano? Hindi pa ako tapos. Sorry, pasensya na kasi isang tao lang ako and I'm trying to do as best as I can with the time that I have. But uh, I'm going to finish the Realme C3 review. I'm going to unbox the... Redmi Note 8. I'm also gonna... Ang, uh, pag natapos ko yung Realme C3, I think ang main, ka, ang magiging main phone ko is the Realme 5i. And that's... We can do some comparisons there. Um, but I don't have the Redmi Note 7 anymore. So I can't do comparisons there. Anyway, it's a slightly old phone and I don't know if you're... Yung, yung design niya, you could say, is slightly older than your typical 2020-2019 smartphone. Um... Close na natin yan. So, a um, th- few things that I noticed, no? So, this might turn you off from the Realme C3. Uh, and, and that some of them might not be... Rela- might not be... Parang pas... Uh, no, eh, ano ba? <laughs> might not affect you. So, isa sa mga naging issues ko with the, my Realme C3 is pag nagre-reboot ako, pumapasok siya sa recovery. And it's called Color OS Recovery. Um... I don't know why that does that. So when we restart this, it will go into Color OS recovery. And hindi ko ma gawa ng paraan. Um, ginagawa ko parang I try to do restart and turn off. Or actually, turn off yung solution pala. But uh, no, like, boot into regular mode or something. So nakaka weird lang, no? I think. It could be a bug with my unit or it could be like nagkamali lang sila ng pagka-program ng Color OS or ng Realme UI at the time. So hopefully the Realme UI, the Realme phones that you uh, people get, the Realme C3 phones na nakuha nila um, will not boot into recovery mode kasi matataranta yung tao if hindi sila marunong sa recovery mode. They should definitely um, not boot into co- into recovery mode kasi they could potentially destroy their phone if their phone's boot into recovery mode. So you'll see soon enough na magbo- boot into recovery mode siya. Unless na lang sinungaling ako. Uh, <laughs> year of the punch hole. Yeah, it is. It's, it's slowly turning into the year of the punch hole. Na Nawawala. The, tinanggal, halos, marami, halos lahat ng phone ngayon tinanggal yung kanilang pop-up cam. Ano? 
Um, well, I'm still canvassing, but Realme C3 and Redmi 7A are my top choices. No, wag yung, I mean, Redmi 7A. Hindi ako fan nung non-Redmi Note. Um, the, 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 the lower Redmi series, masyadong mababa yung specs para sa akin. But then again, yes, I know, naka-budget ka lang. Uh, re- Ayan, tignan nyo. Look! Oh, it's uh, na Chinese natin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait. Uh, napindot ko yung Chinese. This is turn off. This goes to turn off. Eh. So that's my that's one of the problems with I have with Realme C3. I hope that it doesn't happen with everybody else, no? Um, but it's not a massive problem. It's just a minor nuisance, especially since when I do gaming benchmarks, I restart the phone. So nakakasar lang siya. Um, Lionel Shoko, still waiting for my Realme UI plus Android 10 and my Realme 5 Pro pa eh. Don't want a manual OTA mode para sure. I see, I see. Saan galing yung Realme 5 Pro mo, Kuya Lionel? Di ba in- ano siya? Imported ba yan? India ba yan? India? Uh, sabi ni Carlo Reyes, ay sana kaso C3 is 332GB lang. Yon. so that's my next point. No? Uh, si Carlo Reyes is commenting sa Facebook natin. So, ano na nangyari? Ah, tinurn off ko nga pala si C3. Yun, ang, yun, ang, yun lang yung maliit ko yung issue. And then I think by turning by going to turn off into the sa call dun sa uh, recovery mode i think pag on mo sa kanya it goes straight into the re- usual boot process na i think no yun ang tanda ko ano ka tapat ng G70 sa Snapdragon um 710 maybe ano ba yung unto- I, I, sorry medyo uh, hindi na ako updated eh but i think 710 maybe 7.30 Kasi mas malakas yung, malakas yung 7.30, right? Um, sobrang nag, Nagsawa ako sa kaka-update Sa mga Antutu score Baka alam ni Kuya Ray Kyle But I don't know uh, But uh, sooner or later Mag ano na ulit tayo Magiging Super Competitive Super checking na tayo Ng mga gaming Kasi ang next na Ang next na review ko Is most likely um, si, A, Ga, si Galaxy A71 For sure um, Oh by the way Meron tayong Galaxy A80 No? Ah, hindi ko alam kung interesado pa kayo dito eh Kasi pinadala sa akin ni Samsung ito um, Meron silang Basically utang Hindi ma utang But uh, Raffle Ano ito eh Christmas Ay hindi Nag recovery ulit um, So I think if you go to online update, pag nag errors online update, and then you turn it off, I think that's how you get into. This is the problem, no? You get it's it's. I can't figure out how to get back into the OS with the recovery. Hopefully, hindi talaga nagre recovery yung uh, no yung mga yung mga retail Realme C3. So here is the Galaxy A80. Pinadala sa akin ni Samsung. Um, this is this is mine na. So here's the uh, f- the flip top battles screen. Um, freak! It takes great selfies. This this thing because it is the main camera. Essentially, it's using the main camera. Couldn't avoid a find available network. So let's try turning it off again. Um, I don't know if anybody needs an, a review of the Galaxy A80. Um, feeling ko hindi siya priority. I might I won't prioritize this phone. It's very interesting phone though. Um, hindi po imported galing uh, Memory Express I see pero sa sinabi ko group wala naman recovery mode napupunta na sa mga Realme UI na pati sa XT wala naman nangyari dyan that's what I observed meron ako rin Realme XT hindi ko palang na ano uh, kuya ano sa'yo mo sa Vivo EQ nako yun yung ano eh sa hentai yan eh hentai yung pangalan ng YouTube yung ano yung phone na yan eh yun yung narinig ko sa hentai lagi Vivo EQ! <laughs> um, sandali. Hindi ko alam yan. Sandali lang. EQ. Uh, hindi darating sa Pilipinas yan. Malamang. Um, IQ003. Ano? 5G? Ayun. Pumasok na siya sa sa UI. Ay, hindi ko alam kung ano yung reason kung bakit siya bakit siya nag- Paano ko nabalik sa ano? Ba- paano ko nabalik sa regular boot yun? 
Anong ginawa ko? The question yun. So I tried to Wi-Fi download some update and then go turn it off pag wala siyang nahanap. Um, Vivo EQ 3 5G. 5G ready phone launch in India. Uh, oh my. Okay, so it's a top end phone, no? Snapdragon 865, 6.64 uh, 6.44 inch, 48 megapixel. Um, 13 telephoto, 13. Okay, so it's top end phone. Magkano siya? Eh, it's okay. It it seems like a pretty standard, ha, ano, top. I mean, flagship ish level phone. Um, Android 10, 1080p Super AMOLED. Malamang in display in display fingerprint. Yes. May may headphone jack. Uh, my headphone jack siya. And then 16 megapixel selfies. Does it have a micro SD expansion? Most likely meron. Wala. Wala siya micro SD. Um, ilan yung telephoto niya? 50mm. So that's 2 times zoom. Does it have OIS? No, no OIS. Ah, I'd say... Okay, so... Vivo EQ. Uh, here we go. I would say this is pretty good, but not my first choice. No, there's a lot more, lot of competition in this space gonna that's gonna happen. Unless you really need 5G. No, um, is it a punch hole? Is that a punch hole camera? Is that a punch hole camera? I'm just, I like the design though. It's not bad. It's kind of unique. Um, yeah, this is this is so. For sure, Meron Taong would be would be interested in this product, but I think this is there's a lot of replacement, or there's a lot of similar products to this phone that I don't know if you really need to go out of your way to look for this phone is in the Philippines. Yun lang. Um, like ano ba yung ginawa niya? Is it is it 90 hertz display? No, it's 60 hertz. 180 hertz touch sensing. Shh. Bull crap. Um, yeah, it's not necessarily something you want to be looking for because you know, there's a lot of other products with the same specs in this category um, and you shouldn't be prioritizing uh, Vivo for this. No, uh, In India, most likely it can be because there's warranty and whatnot. Yeah, not my first choice here. Um, SD865, punch hole, 60 hertz. Thank you, White Blue. 48 megapixel IQ sa India though must prefer kasi Realme X50 Pro yeah we're talking about we'll talk about X50 Pro soon um not fine of the boxy camera design ano ba nangyari <laughs> eh tatanong ako dito choices ta no tapos ma ano ma Flare S8 K30 Pro should be coming sa March 24 maakaabang abang yun cheaper than iku ani eh Iko! Hindi ko kaya yung, ano, yung anime girl's voice eh. Dr Kura Drexel says, I have the Note 7 right now. After the OS update, medyo may latency sa Wi-Fi. Even with 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Picture quality wise, okay siya. I have the 3 gigabyte variant. That's weird sa Wi-Fi, no? But uh, you might be right about that one. Um, What was I? Okay, yeah, yeah. So one, uh, let's go back to the Realme C3. Bago tayo matapos. So, um, Realme C3. My main complaint with the Realme C3. Okay, the main. Yun da, parang ano yun, no? Parang yun na yung <laughs> magandang magandang uh, clickbait yun. My main complaint with the Realme C3. The truth about Realme C3. Ah, yeah. uh, my issue with the Realme C3 is the 32 gigs of storage. No, it's it's quite bitin. Uh, 32 gigs of storage is quite bitin, especially for a product that is. Uh, is uh, advertised as a gaming phone. Uh, 32 gig storage translates to uh, basically ma minus on manong 13 gigs yun eh. Um, kasi if you look at your settings, tignan nyo, yo, actually smooth yung interface nyo. No? Uh, if you go to your uh, uh, not not there. Additional settings, storage. 
All right. So if you look down here, so baba, it will process, and it will tell you that the system is taking about 13 gigs of storage. So 32 minus 13, that's 19 gigs left for the user. 19 gigs left for the user. So it's the system is taking 12.3 gigs right now. 12.3 gigs. Uh, that's a lot. I mean, wala pa ako na, I mean. The system pa lang yan. It's not your apps, no? It's not the apps that you installed afterwards, no? So, if you install a lot of social media apps pa lang, that would be at least 2-3 gigs. Kasi Facebook is like 500 megs at least, no? These days. Um, so, if you install like 4 or 5 social media apps, that's probably 2 or f 2, 2, 2 plus gigs, no? And most games are... Well, hindi most games, but a lot of the bigger games... Like Honkai Impact, like uh, um, Ragnarok Online, they take about three to five gigs. No, Call of Duty Mobile is like two gigs plus. Um, PUBG is wait, PUBG is two gigs at that. So they take a a pretty a significant amount of space. And this is Android 10. No, Android 10, there's no more access to the SD card for application, so you cannot move any files. You cannot move any files um, from the internal storage onto the external storage. So uh, you you can only move photos, movies, other documents, and stuff like that. But application files, like files na OB, ano ba to? OBB files, ba yun, tawag nila? Hindi mo na pwede ilagay sa SD card. So that limits the av available games that you can put into the Realme C3, like... If the, if maliliit na games yan, probably six at max games. Siguro sabi natin two gigs each game. Uh, time, sa twelve gigs yon. So thing is, okay, ito pa. So you have you have thirty two gigs minus minus thirteen. That's nineteen gigs. No, nineteen gigs. When the system gets less than 5 gigs available, I know this because I've been installing games. When the system gets less than 5 gigs available, it throws up a, a, a message that on, that's on the top of the screen saying, running out of storage. Uh, so how many how many gigs do we have here? I have 10.2 right now because I installed most of the games. Um, but typical, when I was installing games, when I was ng 5 gigs yung free ko, Nagre-reklamo na si system. It says your system might have lower performance when you have less than 5 gigs available sa internal storage. That means it's already taking 13 gigs on system, 5 gigs to keep the system running smoothly. That's 18 gigs. That's more than half your storage. 32 minus 18, that is what? 14 gigs left? Yeah, that's 14 gigs left. You have 14 gigs to install your apps and games. Um, if medyo loyal ka lang to a handful of games, like four games maximum, um, then this is okay. But unless you're, you're, you're okay with that, that's a little too low for a gaming smartphone. So don't expect to buy this as a gaming smartphone if, you're, if you are a, uh, a, a, a prolific multi-game gamer. You buy this if you're a one and done, one game only, play it as until the end of time type of gamer, no? Or you play one game, you uninstall, you play another game uninstall, which is kind of inch, uh, not not popular kind of style today because marami sa mga games today you keep installed, no? PUBG Mobile, for example, you don't uninstall PUBG Mobile, you don't uninstall Call of Duty Mobile, di ba? Kasi why would you want sometimes to play PUBG? You also want sometimes to play Call of Duty. Hindi na katulad ng dati where you have a single player game and you finish that single player game, you uninstall it and forget it the entire time. But these ga these days, yung games mo is you always online, you're always coming back to those games. Uh, and I think I got, I just got an ad. I just got an ad. <laughs> no, it's not, it's technically not an ad. It says, Game Center, have a look. The market offers a huge number of phone apps. Uh, technically, it's an ad. Technically. That's uh, yung Game Center. Um, 
is one of the apps you cannot uninstall. It's like yung app market. It's one of those apps na mainstay dito you cannot remove, no? Uh, and then you always get these featured apps of the month. Uh, if you run it, and it's 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 basically bloatware, bloatware with s- semi ads, semi ads. Um, you can turn off the notifications from both the app market and the um, the game center. They're both app stores. They're both app stores, no? Um, it's a minor, it's a minor annoyance. It's a minor annoyance. Okay, let's. W- w- there are a few more things I want to talk about, no? Bago tayo matapos. Uh, face unlock. There you go. Um, two things that I like sa UI. Two things that I like sa UI. One thing I like sa UI is pinakita ko sa video ko yung I like this one because it reminds me of a Sam's. Uh, it's a Motorola feature that day. Um, yung bumubuka yung display and tells you the, the notification it's this one okay so this is a cool feature where the phone is oh hindi nyo pala kita <laughs> there <laughs> it's a cool feature where when you get notifications the screen will turn on and We'll show you the notification. So, uh, here, I like this feature. I like this feature because it lets me do work and then I can get notified of emails or notifications and whatnot. And I can look at the notification without unlocking the phone, without quick picking up the phone, without doing stuff. And then, makikita ko kung hindi ko gusto yung notification, I just swipe it away and it goes back to off the screen goes back off and i can just do that now uh that's a very similar to old motorola feature that pops out your notification of course you can turn it off but talking i like the fact that i can read the notifications it pops out it's pop it pops on the screen i can read the notifications i can swipe it away it's it because your most phones go right now is let's say ito, it's my galaxy a50s now it will ring sa sabi niya, okay, I, I, there's a gener- generic notification sound. I would unlock it, and then I can't read it because I turned off yung ano, and then I would open it, and then makikita ko yung notification. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of a lot of work just to che- check your notifications. And it interrupts your entire workflow. But that feature, I really like sa Realme C3. Um, also, here's one thing I like sa Realme C3, the multitasking mode, no? So, for example, if you are running Facebook, this is very cool, uh, but also kind of uh, not, not, siguro mainstream, no? Um, they have a three-finger gesture for um, split-screen multitasking. There you go. So, I can now split-screen multitask. Now, uh, on some phones, this is this can be done, no problem. Split-screen multitasking is very doable in most phones, but they don't have this three-finger gesture. Now, that three-finger finger gesture is really, really cool. Uh, let me try it on my S10 Plus. So, sa S10 Plus, there's, all of, there's some things that I don't... The, the multitasking I don't like. So, for example, I'm on Facebook, no? Facebook, great. I'm on Facebook. Um, baba ko yung brightness para nakita nyo mas malinaw. Okay? Uh, masyado mababa. Okay. There's no three-finger gesture here. That's That just goes back home. Um... Para lang mag split screen sa, sa Samsung phone. Uh, para mag split screen sa Samsung phone, you have to swipe up and hold. You press the, the the icon on top. You click open split screen view, and then you open another app on the bottom. That's a lot of buttons to press just to go into split screen mode. And the problem there is, if if I'm watching something on YouTube. If I'm watching something on YouTube and I go to multitask menu and then I open it in split screen view, the video stops playing. It gets paused. I don't want the video to pause while I multitask. So minor thing, but it's a very cool feature. Sa Realme C3. 
So let's try it doing it right now. Um, nasa na ba yung ano ko? It's not showing up yung aking stream. Uh, let's just watch this video here. Okay, so it's playing a video. Let's see if it'll we can multitask while it's playing. It we can multi we can cleanse so it's still playing. That's so awesome. That's a, that's a small feature, but it's so awesome for me. Anyway, sobrang masyado na tayo matagal dito sa topic na to. Anyway, uh, let's maybe move on as soon as possible. So Realme C3 is priced at five nine ninety. It's available now. Uh, there's two colors, red and blue. Uh, personally, you should get the red. Why? Because it looks like Japanese flag. Okay? So, there's the design. It's very solid, by the way. No? Look at this design. You think, what is this? What, what does this remind you of? Well, it looks like the Japanese flag, isn't it? If the, the, sun, the sunlight comes... If those streaks of light comes from the fingerprint sensor, it looks like the Japanese flag. So, what does the Japanese flag look like? Uh, Japan flag with race. That's what it looks like. And that's what the Realme C3 red color looks like. No? So it's very Japanese looking. Uh, that was, I think that's a kind of a cool feature. I don't know if it's Johnny Leon or not, but that's that's what happened there. So Realme C3 are available now, 6,000 pesos. Red and black available. Um, I don't think there's a pre like bonuses to, that you can get, but that's about it. Um, yeah, Realme C3, it's not bad. It's pretty good gaming phone. Major limited of storage. Uh, let me read some comments before we move on here. Um, hmm. Kala ko kung nung March si ilalabas yung Redmi K30 Pro yun pala March 24. I think na delay yung araming na delay sa coronavirus kasi. Pag lumabas si OnePlus si ilalabas si K30 Pro. My fate grand order JP game. If I don't download all its data, it's almost seven gig, seven point five gigabytes. John Alvin Salvador, what's up? Uh, by the way, pala may nagsabi na may ininstall na bloatware sa Realme UI sa Five Pro about YouTube Music Player atayon at hindi daw maninstall. Yeah, no, no, no. YouTube Music is 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 here. Ito. I don't call it bloatware because it's a Google software, no. Um, there's YouTube Music, no. Uh, YouTube Music is sort of going to become standard on most phones. Kasi pinipilit ni YouTube yan eh. People, YouTube, you, 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 Google themselves are trying to push YouTube Music to people, no? So, we're gonna have to take into account na kasama yan. And yes, hindi mo siya ma-uninstall. You know, <laughs> you can't uninstall it. This is the, the, the C3, ah. Eh? So, even the 5i... Realme 5i has the YouTube music. Uh, uh, YouTube music. There. YouTube music right there. And hindi ako nag-install nag no? It's it's there, no? What's up, Kuya Junching? Um, ano pa ba yung naka... I'm just checking kung ano pa yung naka bloatware dito sa 5i. I, I remember it's got some... Uh, <laughs> some eh, some numbers of bloatwares. But ne, no, yung... Konti na lang. Yeah, continue lang. Anyway, that's that for Realme C3. Uh, let's move on to the Realme 6, ba? No, wait, ano ba? X50 Pro na lang. No? Um, so, tulungan nyo ako kasi hindi ako updated. Um, pag hindi na launch sa Pilipinas, wala akong pakialam kasi hindi mo alam kung darating sa atin no hindi. X50 Pro, it's gonna be... Flagship ni... Oop, mali. Hindi nyo pala nakikita. I'm sorry. Uh, Realme X50 Pro was announced in India this week. If I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be one of... Flagship, if not the flagship ni Realme. Uh, here's the specs. We got a Snapdragon 865. 65 watt super dark charge. Uh, LPDDR5 UFS3. That's pretty good. Hindi ko alam yung TWHPB. Vapor cooling system, dual stereo speakers. That's good. Realme UI. Good. 90Hz Super AMOLED. Good. 60 me 64 megapixel quad camera. 32 megapixel in display dual selfie. 
Wait, what? Ito ba yung hidden na yung dis ano? No, it's pop out. Uh, it's a uh, cut out. Huh, <laughs> in display my butt. Let's watch this video. Wow, spaceship. Holy spaceship. Realme X50 Pro 5G. So tingin niyo darating sa Pilipinas ito hindi. Sito sa tingin ko hindi. Man, gusto ko maglaro ng ano ng Space Sim ulit. I wanna play Space Sim games, dude. Super Dark Charge. Realme X50 Pro, speed of the future. Realme smartphone. Hindi nila ilalabas sa Pilipinas ito feeling ko lang. Uh, because it's a little too premium, no? Uh, 5G, nobody's gonna care. 360 surround antenna, fully support Wi Fi 6. Speed is awesome! LPDDR5, US 3.0. So, UFS 3.0 is pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vapor cooling system. So, sige nga, pakita mo yung vapor cooling system mo. Three layers of graphite, vapor chamber, thermal silica, copper foil. Okay. Three layers of graphite. Saan yung processor? Nandito. Mm -hmm. 65 watt, super dark charge, 100% charge in 35 minutes. Oh yeah, I remember this. Dual core technology. Dual cell design. This is actually a, a, a proper design, a proper way to, to do this fast charging. Huh? 90 frames per second. Na frame, uh, na, na refresh rate. So let me check out this display. Three E3 luminescent materials, 92% screen to body, HDR10 plus, 0.27 seconds in display fingerprint, DCI-P3 color space, HDR10 plus certified. Um, 20 is to 9 screen ratio, 1080p full HD plus resolution. Ultra 6 cameras. Okay, think about that. Uh, so front facing is 8 megapixel and 32 megapixel wide. Wait, no. It's 32 megapixel main, 8 megapixel ultra wide. Okay. Off. On, off. On, off. Um, hmm. Main camera. Okay, back camera. You got a 12 megapixel telephoto lens up to 20x zoom, 64 megapixel main camera, 1 over 1.72 inch sensor size. 8 megapixel ultra wide angle and macro lens. So, tama yun. Pinagsama na nila yung macro tsaka yung ultra wide. And then, black and white portrait lens. 20x hybrid zoom. Ano yung lente kaya nung zoom niya? Is this 2 times? 5 times? 20? Uh, hmm. So, I wouldn't use it. This is a pretty good photo, actually. Also, I can turn off my lights now. Hang on. Bago ako masunog dito. Hey. Okay. This is a pretty good photo right here. Nani? Let me see kung meron tayo makikita sa kanya. Makikitang information as a picture. Adobe Photoshop 2020. <laughs> Tinagal nila yung mga information. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Gusto ko makita eh. <laughs> matalino sila eh, matalino. They hiding. They hiding. They don't want you to know uh, the settings and whatnot they took this photo with. Um, yeah, okay. There's a little bit of like pinkish color. It's very pinkish. Even this, this is very pinkish right here. This is slightly pinkish as well. So, hindi ko naman sinasabing hindi siya taken by a smartphone. This, there's a purple, uh, it's very purple fringy. And the HDR is very evident, no? This is night mode. 
It's not bad. It's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Super Nightscape 3. Okay. Max stabilization. That's been that's pretty normal na ngayon sa mga smartphones with ultra wide. They use the ultra wide for stabilization. Uh, the, is it is it waterproof? Does it have a headphone jack? No, it doesn't have a head. What is he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, gets rust red, moss green. Let me see that again. Mm, the red looks better in my opinion. Realme UI, seamless fun. NFC, dual stereo speakers. Dual stereo speakers is nice. Alright, um, magkano ito? Anybody has uh, any information? Magkano itong X50 Pro 5G? Um, <clears throat> oh, meron na sa, ano, sa Lazada? 26k, eh? That's not bad. Hey, you should, maybe you should buy one. Wait, what? Oh, it's not the X50 Pro. No, it's not the X50 Pro. Fake news. Here's the X50 Pro. 34,000. It's Lazada, though. Um. Wala. So, Shopee. Uh, let me read some comments. Uh... U, UI ang ayoko kay Realme like yung swipe up to go home in recent meron delay and yung notification cover lahat. Uh, well, slightly different na ngayon kuya Junching kasi ano nga eh, we are now the the Realme UI is slightly different. Um, para sa akin okay lang. I don't think there's a slight delay naman masyado, no? Sa, nasa na yun? This my uh, C3, no? Um, yan, uh, I don't think there's too much of a delay. Patay na yung ilaw ko ah, kaya huwag na kayo magreklamo ko madilim. So, swipe up. Ayan. <clears throat> swipe up. Swipe up. Uh, and then multitask. Ayan. I don't think there's too much of a delay anymore. Um, isa sa napansin ko, I don't know if it's just a screen protector. But sometimes when I tap apps, uh, instead of tapping an app, it... it thinks I'm scrolling. It's scrolling like this, no? So, sometimes when I do this, akala niya nagsuscroll ako. Like that! Napansin nyo? Um, I think either the screen protector is making... Ayan, so look at that. Napansin nyo yun? It could be yung part ng thumb ko tumatama sa ano. But, I'm not scro I'm not trying to scroll. You know, uh, that happened again. So, that's... Could be improved through updates of software, I think. Um, like, I, I think hindi naman, it's not a big problem, but they really should fine-tune their software touch detection. It's gesture detection lang yun eh. Um, but I think it's not fully realized yet, their full gesture detection thing. Because yun nga, madalas, I think that might be palm rejection kasi baka tumatama yung thumb ko sa edge ng screen. Or it could be yung screen protector, it could be really dis yung not making it react as properly as possible in screen protector. So, X50 Pro 5G, is this available now? Waiting price, March 12 to 17. Ah, so hindi pa totoo to. Eh. ba ang estimate? Okay, here we go. 37,999 rupee. 38k INR to PHP. Wait, huh? X50 Pro. Kuya Rekal, tama ba ito? Nandiyan ka pa ba? Yun din nangyari sa Realme 5. Ay, kuya, akala nag-swipe ako. Ayaw mag-home. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it could be it could be a bigger problem than I expect, no? Also, twenty five thousand round, rang, <laughs> nagiging China ata ako. Japanese rang. Why is this price like that? Uh, yeah, sabi ni gadgets NDTV, it's huh. 
White Blue says, yes kuya. <laughs> Pasensya na, ini-store in- in- mo kita. <laughs> Wag lang, okay lang, okay lang. Yaman na. So that's the Realme X50 Pro 5G. Personally, I think it's pretty good for the price point. If it's under 30,000, I like it. I like it, no? Under 50,000. It's uh, it's lacking a few things uh, that would make it the best phone dito sa price point na to. But I think it's a very good, very good, very good attempt by Realme. And if I'm just gonna choose a brand, uh, I might just choose Realme. Kasi Realme so far been doing better than expected, no? Um, the competition here is obviously Xiaomi, Black Shark, um, ano pa yung um, Nubia Red Magic. There's a lot of competition here, but the, obviously this is not competing for gaming phone. This is competing for your typical flagship-ish level, flagship killer brand, no? flagship killer pricing. Um, mas malapit ang pricing sa, ng Realme PH sa India. That's true, compared sa Realme Europe. Kaya meron Xiaomi Mi 10 at Mi 10 Pro kaso sa Zund at China ROM. What? Ha? Merong Mi 10 sa Pilipinas, dude! May Mi 10 dito! <clears throat> Philippines. Wait, that's a group. That's not it. Me Philippines. They're selling the Mi 10 uh, for like 26k and 30k bayon. I have one. I still haven't finished the review because I'm an idiot. Um, wala na, 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 hindi, hindi naman dead yung battery, but hindi ko pa siya nakakargahan in a while. So this is my yeah low bat, siya, low bat. Uh, this is my Xiaomi Mi 10. Mi Note 10. Sorry, not Mi 10. Um, oh, you mean Mi 10. My bad. I thought you mean Mi Note 10. Wala akong pakialam sa Mi 10. Come on. Well, okay. Uh, maybe may pakialam ako. But I don't I don't like imported phones. I don't like that. Um, yeah, if you're interested in buying the Mi 10, Mi 10 Pro, go ahead. Um, the pricing is not too bad. No? But I, I, I don't like... You know... <sighs> It, should I care? Should I really just import every goddamn thing in pa- imaginable? Uh, anyway, um, do I want do I want to buy one? No. Is it interesting? Mm, slightly. Should you buy one? Nasa sa inyo yun. No, nasa sa inyo yun. Uh, Personally, for my per- personal phone, for my phones that I want to use personally, I don't want China ROM. Okay, I don't want China ROM. I don't want to install my own G apps. I don't want to flash ROMs. I don't want to. Uh, matanda na ako, boomer na <laughs> boomer. Hindi hindi ako boomer. I'm just kidding. But matanda na ako. Ayoko nang magkalikot ng yu ROM ng phone. Alam ko madali lang yun. Alam ko hindi ganon kahirap magkalikot ng ROM. Pero po siya hindi na hindi na ako interesado sa ganon usapan. Kasi nakakatamad. It's it's like, oh, mag-research pa ako, pupunta ako sa forum, titignan ko, anong ROM, anong ROM maganda, saan ako magda-download ng ROM. And then, ano mangyayari? Wala kang updates, yung, uh, yung, yung bands ng phone mo, kakaiba, yung, yung update mo matagal kasi hindi ka official eh. I don't like, I don't like mucking around in the forums. So the question is, do I want a Mi 10 Pro? Not right now. Do you, do you want a Mi 10 Pro? It depends on you, sa personality mo. If interesado ka mag-flash ng ROM, if okay ka lang sa phone na may flash ROM ng ibang tao, iba yung nag-flash, uh, if okay ka lang na walang warranty, if okay ka lang na yung language minsan palpak, so naka-Chinese siya, or may, ayaw, kung, if okay ka lang na yung manual mo is in Chinese, if okay ka lang na yung kahon mo is in Chinese. Um... Go ahead, no? Eh, eh, hindi ko kayo uh, pinipigilan. Personally, para sa akin, ayoko. Um, nanggaling na ako sa buhay na ganun. Nanggaling na ako sa puro custom rom, custom rom crap eh. And na- nakakatamad eh. Nakakatamad to keep up with that kind of, ano, that kind of, it's, ano, it's a scene eh. It's a, 
you have to be in the de in XDA developers all the time. You have to download these ROMs separately. Sometimes palpak yung download site. Sometimes uh, uh, puro ads yung download site. Minsan may virus yung download site. Minsan may sign up yung download site. Minsan Chinese yung download site. Minsan uh, ang, ang hirap maintindihan ng usapan sa forum. Minsan yung phone mo kakaiba sa phone niya, ibang version, so iba yung ROM na pwede dito. Minsan yung ROM may hindi gumagana. Hindi, I don't like, I, I don't, I don't wanna be, nanggaling na ako dun, nanggaling na ako dun. I used to, I used to flash ROMs with my phones all the time. Uh, and, nakaka, ano, nakakaubos ng buhay, nakakaubos ng panahon. Because, instead of, I become productive, I create content, I take photos na walang walang issue sa mundo. Inisip ko, anong isol ko ang camera app? <laughs> anong version ng camera app lalagay ko? Oh, no. Anyway, uh, hindi, not not bashing, no? Uh, I hope if you are going to import your phone, please enjoy your phone. It's a little bit more work than I would like to do. Ayun lang. Uh, do, 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 do. Ano bang usapan? Wala pa kuya Mi 10 dito. Yes, nagkamali ako. Inihintay pa Global Launch. Pero Mi Note 10 meron. Yeah, I know. Magkamali ako Mi Note 10 pala yung inisip ko. I mean, akala ko you were referring to Mi Note 10 when you asked. No. I was not... Wala, wala sa radar ko pa si Mi 10. Um, March 27, Global Launch. Then after ng Global Launch, abang na sa Xiaomi Philippines. Mali Realme X50 pala yun, hindi Realme X50 Pro. Sorry. No ko lang. Okay lang, Patrick Ibora. Anong meron? Um, mm, all right, let's move on. Uh, I don't like imported. Ah, may may mga pro products ako na, may mga may phone ako na imported. It's my uh andito pa rin. It's my HTC 10. <laughs> Wala low, low bat na. Marami akong phones na inaya ako ng low bat. So, ayan siya, HTC 10. Um Hindi ko alam kung mabebenta ko ito eh kasi medyo ano na eh medyo mahina na yung baterya. Hindi naman mahinang mahina but kaya niya pa until 15%. Pag 15% battery na siya, ano na siya, give up na siya, no? So, kung sino man bibili nito, kung meron mang interesado bumili nito, kailangan nilang malaman na pag 15% battery na, ano ka na? Dapat mag-charge ka na. It's one of the may pagkaluman yung yung in terms of smartphone technology yung technology na to wala pang malalaki well wala pang super large batteries nung time na to eh. so ayan HTC 10 uh, mahal ko yung HTC 10 na yan because marami akong YouTube uh, YouTube content na nagawa using HTC 10 yung mga vlogs ko and whatnot um ma -ma 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 -ma, nasa na tayo let's talk about Realme 6 no puro Realme tayo ah sandali lang Oppo X2. Okay, ito bago to. Um, pinanood ko to ng konti. But, here we go. Yeah. Oppo X2. Here we go. They launched nila to online because of coronavirus. No, They were gonna have an event there. Eh. We have a, if I'm not mistaken, curved glass, a punch hole display. 1080p yata? Let me see, let me see. Uh, let's watch this video. The Oppo Find series pushes the boundaries of technology to constantly create... What? This is so Apple. Now, we're doing it again. Awakening your senses. With the Are you Johnny Ive? Two series. Crafted from highly durable ceramics. Every curve is deliberately designed to feel like an extension of the <laughs> extension of For a visual experience that brings you closer to reality, we've incorporated a 120 Hz ultra vision screen that makes the screen smoother than ever. True billion color display. Right, yeah. Seamlessly to present every Oh, it's 1440p, nice. So real that you'll feel like you're actually there. The best-in-class O1 UltraVision engine turns even normal frame rate videos into high-quality presentations. What? 
Oh yeah, they have video uh, video interpolation nga pala. The sound stereo system awakens a stunning Yeah, yeah, this is what I like. Into your hands. The Find X2 series also introduces a revolutionary ultra vision camera system. Wait. Ah, I can't pause. Features a larger custom made sensor that features revolutionary ultra vision camera system. Akala <laughs> ko YouTube, pinapost ko ng spacebar. 13 megapixel periscope telephoto camera. Second generation, 10 times hybrid zoom. Up to 60x digital zoom OIS. 48 megapixel ultra wide, IMX586. Uh -huh. 48 megapixel wide. 1 over 1.4. That's pretty large. And it's all, all pixel. Oh yeah, they were talking about this all pixel omnidirectional PDAF na to. 12-bit true capture. Yeah, they were trying to advertise that. I actually was impressed a little bit. Dito sa Oppo. That features a larger custom-made sensor. An all-pixel. Yeah, yeah. EAF technology. So even in low-light conditions, you can switch and lock the focus between foreground and background. Hmm. Live HDR video recording captures videos with sharper detail. Oh, that's... That's cool. I don't know if it's that While good the though. Telephoto lens easily turns every photo into art from any distance. Uh, not bad. Our 65 watt super, super Vuk. Vuk. flash charge again, pushing charging speed beyond the imaginable. The unique component configuration was designed for the era of 5G. We've set a mission to use technology to awaken your senses. <laughs> and now the answer is right in front of you. Oppo Find X2 series. Okay. Few comments. Uh, the design is very generic, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. It looks like a freaking... Um, so it has a punch hole, but it's actually pretty nice. There's a curved display. Uh, the sides are definitely metal. I like the fact that it's 120 Hz Quad HD and all the display technology. I like the fact that they're using motion interpolation to play back the vi some videos because people will really like that. Um, and then the camera module is very... It looks kind of cool. It looks robust, no? It looks serious. Yan ang gusto ko sa mga ganito. Yung mukha talaga siyang, it looks like an actual lens. Uh, so we have a hybrid zoom. We have a ultra-wide and a regular wide. Um... Yeah, it looks like a serious camera, so good. Um, not gonna complain here. I think it's really nice. Oh, they have the leather back nga pala. So Oppo, Oppo usually brings this these out. Yung mga paminsan minsan yung mga leather nila. Water and dust resistance. IP68. That's good. Yes. Yes. Um. Ultra vision screen, 120 hertz, 3K QHD plus. Yeah, this is good. This is good. I like this. I mean, sure, meron din si Samsung nito, but si Samsung has a limited. If you go 120 hertz si Samsung, it has to be 1080p. And also, if you go QHD, it has to be 60 hertz. So these competing brands are trying to go at 120 hertz QHD. I just don't know how good though, but it's probably a very good display. Let's see here, 800 nits. Local peak brightness at 1200, 100% P3 color gamma. That's pretty good. That's very good actually. A plus grade display mate, HDR10 plus certified. Uh, AI adaptive eye protection. Nobody cares about your eyes. Uncovered the ultimate video. Uh, Ultra vision. It is going inter motion interpolation today. Yeah, this is their motion interpolation. So if you're watching a video at 30 FPS, okay, it reinterpolates that video into 60, 120 hertz FPS. Uh, in one, this is a TV. If uh, ane, ginagawa sa mga TV, motion interpolations sa TV or smooth motion sa TV. They do this uh, to take. Nakikita niya sa mga, sa mga ane, sa mga, uh, like movie clip 60. FPS. Kinagawa nila dito yung mga Avengers. Tapos naka 60 FPS. Mga ganun. Ayan, yeah. This is 60 FPS. I don't like these. Because the motion interpolation adds ugly frames in between na hindi actual part ng movie. But it makes the video a little bit cooler, no? 
Um, let's see something that's moving very, very fast. Yeah, so you can see some... Yeah, you can see some... Yeah, yeah, yung mga interpolated frames are kind of... I know, uh, adding bad frames that are not what it should look. Ayun, 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 look at this. So, yeah, 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 here we go. So, watch the interpolated frames. You know, did you see that sort of after image ni Jeremy Renner? You know, the, the way he's running. This is in motion interpolation. It's not, it's actually not bad to have that, but. You should. Oh my god. Oh my god. To somebody who's. Uh, who cares about yung. Every frame about a movie. This is bad. That's bad. Yung after image yung yun. Yo, see? You see his arm? You see he has a he has a ghost in the back of him? He has an arm that is sort of coming out. That's a that's an interpolated frame. That's an interpolated frame, no? Um that's what the Oppo will do sa kanilang X2. But I have to admit having that feature on a smartphone screen will make it cool though. Uh, because there are some content that is better watched at higher frame rates. No, imagine playing, uh, watching a video game. No, and then we we interpolate it into more frame rates. No, but in don't watch movies with this. Don't watch movies with interpolated frames, because uh, look at that ugliness. Anyway, uh, na tangent na naman tayo. Mga copyright pa tayo. So there's motion interpolation here. I just wanted to show you what it looks like motion interpolation. It's a uh, it's a it's an okay thing, but don't enable it on many 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 movies. No, don't do it on movies. Do it on video games, for example. Uh, what is this? What is going on here? HDR video enhancement. This is actually cool. So another more, I uh, know. Th this is Oppo trying to leverage their experience in the audio visual space. So Oppo used to be a very big uh, headphone and uh, music and audio equipment company. Ngayon, they're trying to leverage that experience into uh, HDR uh, up resing and uh, up, I uh, know. Upscaling and up, um, whatever. Anyway, interpolation. Dual stereo speakers is good. This is nice. This is nice. Um, ultra vision camera system. Na pag-usapan na natin ng konte. 48 megapixel, 48 megapixel, and then we have. Uh, hindi niya sinasabi kung ano yung actual ano magnification itong 13 megapixel though. Ultra night mode. Blah blah blah. This is kind of cool. This omnidirectional PDF. I don't know if. This is just pretty standard technology sa ibang brands though. 3 in 1 camera, yeah yeah yeah, la 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 la. Portrait mode, 32 megapixel selfies, ultra steady, everybody has that. HDR video kind of cool, free mic recording. This needs to be tested. So they're using some sort of uh, a noise cancellation or a noise cancellation technology. I don't know if it's actually true. Because this video looks way too sharp for for smartphone video. So most likely this is fake, in my opinion. No headphone jack, it looks like. Hidden fingerprint unlocked. Dual mode 5G, nobody cares. Uh, how about ito, ah? This is a long scroll. Pulse touch when you feel the touch from your fingerprints. Anyway, okay, here we go. So Find X2 Pro, um, kind of a cool phone. Kind of, I gotta admit, it's waterproof. It's Quad HD. It's uh, um, waterproof Quad HD. 120 hertz display, punch hole camera. I don't like the the curved display, of course, hindi na ako fan ng curved display ngayon kasi masyado nang overused. Dual speakers, 
upgraded 120 hertz yung yung kanyang motion interpolation uh, hdr interpolation the cameras look pretty interesting i don't know if they can actually pull it off this is oppo we're talking about sometimes they they have really overpriced products uh ang kulang niya i guess is let's see ano ba yung battery niya ano yung battery um specs okay we have a 12 gig RAM. Ooh, that's a lot. 12 gig RAM, 512 gigabyte ROM. Holy crap. Um, baka may mga hindi pa tayo nakitang stuff. Supervoke is also very interesting. So, Color OS 7.1 based on Android 10. It's single SIM currently. Huh, that sucks. We have USB Type C, earphone jack is Type C also, no headphone jack. What's the battery? Wait. Nasa new battery. Samsung Dex? Uh probably not. This is Oppo. I don't know if they have a, a, a desktop mode. Where is the battery? Oh, here we go. So it's 4,260 milliamp hours. Yeah, 4,260 milliamp hours. Okay. Eh, a little bit low, but that's okay. So how much for the Find X2 Pro? Yeah, thank you, Kuya White Blue. Uh, let's see. Find X2 Pro. Wait a minute. Are you telling me si Realme may X2 Pro then? <laughs> Why? Tignan natin si The Verge kung meron sila. Magkano si X2 Pro? Malamang 50 mili to. Like, oh man, that looks good though. Uh, yeah, okay, here we go. The phone will cost... 1199 uh, in Europe, while the regular X2 is 1130. So 1350 US dollars or 1199 euro to PHP. Uh, Woo! Little pricey. Holy moly. Pa! Wait! Gawin natin dollars. Straight dollars. 1199 USD to P. Kasi minsan mas mahal sa Europe, di ba? 60,000! Tiyan! Tiyan, tiyan, tiyan. Okay. I guess, I guess 56,000 na rin yung S10 Plus, eh. And then yung S20 Plus is 56,000 din. Uh, a little bit low, especially if your power quad HD and 120 hertz simultaneously. Yeah, pero cool though. Ang problema niyan, ang laki gagamitin kasi they're interpolating video pa from 30 to 120. They're increasing HDR, ano pa, yung they're interpolating or their HDRization pa ng, ng content. Siguro mas malakas sa baterya yun if you use all of those. Tapos dual speakers and whatnot. That's a little bit low nga. I, I, is there wireless charging? Wala. Wala nang wa walang wireless charging to, no? Mali. Not bookmark. Um, hmm. Find X2 Pro. It's a very good attempt by Oppo. I like the design. I like all the specs. The camera module in the back is cool AF, dude. Look at this. It's so minimalistic, but it looks like a looks like a a a, 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 a dual lens reflex, a DS. I uh, know. Uh, no, it's a yeah, it's a dual lens reflex camera. Anyway, let's see here. Um, mm, NFC, yes. Ano bang hinahanapin ko? Wireless charging ba hinahanap ko? Most likely wala siyang wireless charging. I don't think so. It has no head, uh, it's not no no card slot. But then again, it's already 512 gigabytes. Uh, stereo speakers, no headphone jack. It's not for me, but I think it's a really cool phone. The battery is a little worrying, so and the price is a little worrying. So yeah, that's a price about uh, sixty thousand pesos. Very optimistic 
price point is 60,000 but probably more than 60,000 pesos for this guy um, I don't know if that's worth it because you have the Samsung S20 plus in this price point and you have the S20 Ultra just barely close by in the price point um, and admittedly hindi naman ganun ka ultra si S20 Ultra it's kind of like a joke the S20 Ultra is kind of like a joke um, so yeah I don't know this is a little bit tough to sell no? but then again this is Oppo what they're trying to be it's kind of like a an elevated brand I do like the fact that it interpolates the video I do like the fact that it interpolates HDR um, uh, uh, 63k sa Lazada listing leak sa Yuga Tech. I see, I see. Okay. No, that's still not for me. Okay, that's the X2 Pro. Um, Realme 6 and Realme 6 Pro. So this might be the interesting one. Ito yung pamalit ng Realme, Realme 5, which is quite a popular model. Ano oras ba? 11.58? Uh, yeah, let's go to Yuga Tech. Why not? Okay, so two new smartphones in Ninja, packing 90Hz displays, quad cameras, 43mAh battery, 30W flash charge, Realme 6 and Realme 6 Pro. Main difference between the two is the chipset and the camera. 6 Pro comes with Snapdragon 720. Eh. Well, the non-pro version, oh, ito nga pala, 11,000 pesos ata ito, di ba? Comes with a MediaTek Helio G90T. Okay, alright. 12 megapixel telephoto camera with a non-pro version comes with a 2 megapixel black and white portrait. Uh, Realme has 6 RAM variants, 4 gigs up to 8, 8 gig. Pro version is 6 gig, 8 gig. Oh, and then may punch hole. Yung isa, isang punch hole, isa, dalawang punch hole. And also, this design at the back is kind of interesting. Okay, let's see here. Realme 6, Helio G90T, 4 gigs, micro SD, 4K video at 30, UIS video stabilization. Headphone jack, that's good. Fingerprint scanner side mounted. And then the Pro is uh, Snapdragon 720, 6 or 8 gigs, micro SD, 64 plus 8 plus 12 plus 2. Uh, okay, a 4K30 and headphone jack, side mounted fingerprint scanner. Because it's IPS display, so you can't put a uh, fingerprint scanner under display on an IPS display. Uh, and the price is around very competitive, 11 to 13,000 and then 9 to 11,000. So this is going to be competition for, for sure, the Redmi Note series, the Redmi Note 7, the Redmi Note 8, the Redmi Note 9, the, event, the eventual launch of the Redmi Note 9. Um, this is Realme being Realme talaga. They're trying to be very competitive in this price point. They're almost going for the same specs and the same price point and the same... Uh, yeah, it's it's Realme. It's basically like Red Redmi, no? Um, and in some cases, I like Realme. In some cases, I like Redmi. I like the ROM of Xiaomi. Even though walang... Uh, app drawer si, si Xiaomi I still like their uh, re, re, MIUI these days especially if you modern one but the problem is they're very slow to update <laughs> so most of the phones that I have from Xiaomi are still I know, Android 9 um, this is cool this is very competitive uh, once it gets to the market it's got 90 hertz display doesn't it yeah it's got a 90 hertz display this is the most interesting one with a high refresh rate, no? Uh, 10K yan dito, Realme 6 from 7990 sa Realme 5. Price hike dahil marami din nagdag. 31, 30 90Hz, 64 megapixel. Yeah, it seems like it. But I I might go with the Pro kung ganun lang din. Um, main difference being that sino yung dalawa yung selfies na lang? 16 megapixel selfie and then yung, yung pro has dual front 16 plus 8 na may ultra wide ah I see I see pareho silang USB type C now that's good um, headphone jack yes 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 64 plus 8 plus 12 plus 2 and then this is 64 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 right so wala siyang telephoto yeah I definitely go with the pro I definitely go with the pro Kasi mas gusto ko yung may telephoto and then 
dalawang dalawang selfie cameras is just slightly better. Um, and the pricing is not that much different between the two. Uh, yun nga lang, if you don't like the MediaTek. <laughs> Some people, I, I, I'm still not a big fan, but, you know, gaming. Uh, Katropa, yeah, shout out sa'yo, dude. Welcome to the show. Uh, so that is the Realme 6 and Realme 6 Pro. Interesting, and this one more likely to come to the Philippines. So Realme, as you can see, is very, very um, active in this uh, in this market right now. Um, I'm very. This is this is some exciting stuff. Uh, I would like to test these cameras. I would like to. Oh, ganda yung compare nito. Would be interesting. Uh, sometimes, kasi si eh, some of these cameras can get pretty good. All right, so that is the Red Realme 6 and 6 Pro. Um, <laughs> Realme na naman tayo. Wait, natapos na tayo sa X50 Pro, di ba? Black Shark 3. Fine. Bago tayo matapos. So, the Black Shark 3 is uh, in the... Um, rumor mill-ish... It's got some pretty nice uh, updates. So, ang pinakagusto ko sa Black Shark 3 is yung physical buttons on the shoulder. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Finally, seryoso na sila sa button. So, uh, 7.1 inch. 7.1 inch. Nakakatawa. 7.1 inch. 1440p AMOLED display. This is a 1440p. Mwah. Mwah. 90 hertz. 270 hertz touch, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, 8 gig RAM variant is $675. 34,000 Philippine pesos. Uh, I still don't know if I want a gaming phone, but this might be a pretty good gaming phone. I know I hated Black Shark 1 before. Ang ugly niya kasi. Uh, the Black Shark 3 ranges from wait, I know Black Shark 3 Pro. Oh my god, they why why do they keep using the Pro and non Pro? Uh, so ranges from 500. So the Black Shark non Pro is about 25,000 pesos. The non Pro model has capacitive shoulder buttons, a 1080p AMOLED, not QHD, 90 hertz refresh rate, not bad. It comes with a 4720 milliamp hour battery. Ilan battery ni Pro? 5000. Okay. Get the Pro. 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 Okay, malaki laki na yung difference though. Almost $200 difference. Uh, two heat pipes that sandwich the logic board to keep it cool. Adjustable pressure sensitive in the left right parts of the screen when the phone is in landscape. Black Shark 3 and Pro both have triple camera setup on the back. 64 plus 13 plus 5 megapixel bokeh. Front-facing selfie cameras, 20 megapixel. There's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The back of the phone has pins for 18 watt magnetic charging plug, which should be wow. 64 watt fast charging. Both take 12 minutes to reach for. Available for pre-order. Wow. I like it. I like it. That's pretty good. Um. This is good because that thing Black Shark was only 60 hertz displays. Now it's QHD. Now it's 90 hertz. Now it's got physical buttons on the top. That's so good. That's so good. I mean, dang. Okay. Um, hindi, hindi ko na masyadong ano. Malabang web, may, may website ba to? Black Shark. May website ba si Black Shark? Hey, oh, EU.BlackShark. Um, uh, Tagasan tayo sa Europe. <laughs> Wala tayo dito, nakakawa. Nakakawa naman tayo. Um, let's see. Black Shark 2 Pro. No. Wala pa rin si 3D. Wala pa rin si Black Shark 3D to siguro. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, Realme 6 is the upgrade version down on Realme 5 Pro. Well, since naka M RM5 Pro na mi, parang minimal lang upgrade, I think. Yeah. I mean the display res the display refresh. Well, you can wait another year or two, maybe more, to change your Realme 5. Uh, White Blue says very good. See Black Shark. I wonder how the K30 Pro would fare. Hindi talaga ako interesado. K30 Pro. It's gonna be yun nga yung 865 version ng 
Poco X2, right? And also, wala na siyang notch, and there's gonna be a pop-up, and there's gonna be, it's gonna be upgraded from, ano? Uh, wala pang global launch or client on web, Chinese website. Kasi nga sa coronavirus, everything is delayed due to coronavirus, no? Um... So we've talked about some very okay. So I'm gonna say we're talking about we talked about the Realme X50 Pro, we talked about the Oppo X2 Pro, we talked about the Black Shark 3 Pro, all of them have Pro. Well I'm gonna say this is the the, the, the the new era of these new Snapdragon 865 gamer ish 90 120 hertz display phones. They're very cool, but also, A, hindi ako interesado masyado sa gaming phone. B, the other ones are expensive. The Realme, siguro si Realme X50 Pro lang yung pinaka interesting at 35k. But, I don't. They're hard to explain na lang. Kasi there's a lot of us that are interested in 25,000 peso phones pa baba. Maybe even 20,000 peso phones pa baba. Or even 15,000 peso phones pa baba. These flagship killers. These are flagship killers except for the Oppo one. The Oppo is not a flagship killer. It's a very flagship product. Uh, the, these flagship killers. Let's even put in the Black Shark and other gaming phones of flagship killers. Unless you're super into gaming, they're not so interesting. I mean, uh, mm, so tough, no? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to monologue ulit about magarito. But there, uh, no, but I, I like if there's a room of people, you ask them, "Sino yung interesado sa next thirty-five thousand peso phone?" Konti lang yung magtataas lang kamay. They're super. All of everybody's interested in like. Maybe a Poco phone na 20,000 pesos or something. But very rarely yung mga galito. I mean, the Black Shark 2 and 1 was never be, never became popular. The the new version of the ROG, uh, ROG Phone 2, yung 35,000 version, hindi naman naging popular. Even though people are still buying. Uh, may mga bumibili. Um, Red Nubia, Mag Nubia Red Magic. Is there, but it's just not the mainstream choice of phones. Huh? But anyway, interesting. Uh, you, as you notice, si Miten nga yung mas, in, mas maraming interesado sa Miten than the than actual other versions. But anyway, that's our news for this week. I'll just, I think I'll end the show there because wala na tayong ibang topics. Uh, meron pang yung Huawei, Huawei announcements last week, but they're not even, they're like tablets. And laptops and whatnot. Hindi, medyo magko-concentrate tayo sa phones if we can. Uh, so that's about it for our show, mga ate, mga kuya. I know, medyo, usually I, in, in previous BTS, I would like delay and naghahanap pa tayo ng topics. But no, I think uh, that's it for our show. I think that's a good grasp of the recent announcements this uh, few past few weeks. Uh, the most interesting phones, I would say, is the Realme 6 and the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Yeah. Uh, White Blue says, no problem sa design spec. Hungry dude ako. Tempting yung Black Shark 3 series. I can live with the design. Spec hungry. Thank you, Kuya, sa pag-welcome sa akin. <laughs> Welcome, thank you rin sa, ano, sa yung uh, maraming content lagi. No? So, hopefully, we can... Uh, uh, work on our uh, stuff together and uh, uh, well, hindi ako marunong maging boss hindi ako marunong mag mag rally up ng people but thank you for uh, joining us uh, sa Tech Inspected uh, Kuya White Blue uh, hopefully also yung yung sariling site or, or sariling uh, blog or sariling fan page is lumago din I know mas mal malakas yung growth mo naman talaga eh. um and uh, hindi ko, I'm not trying to prevent your growth. Uh, gusto ko na, if you want, you know, you can concentrate on your own content. If you want, you help with us or whatever. But uh, yun ang, yun, that's the offer on the table. Anyway. Um, Lionel Sokol says, Salamat ko ya. Hopefully nga tatag, tatagalan pa M5 Pro ko for 3 plus years. Sana nga, you know. Uh, phone should last more than that. No? So, 
I'm not mistaken, sa April magiging one year old na si S10 Plus ko. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts another year, no? All right, so that's it for our show. Sana wag tayong let's be careful for against the coronavirus. Let's stay in ho- stay at home if you can. Magpa deliver wear wear your uh, wear your uh, masks and uh, hope we uh, get through this NCOV issue. No, sana hindi tayo magka-apocalypse, sana walang zombie virus, no? So that's it for our show. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Chut chut chut. Kailangan na ulit natin ng mga music music. Ha, lang ha, katamad. All right, bye-bye.